11. Meanwhile, it's the goal of every player in the minor leagues to one day play in the majors. And the same often rings true for the umpires. This week, a young New Carlisle man who's chasing that dream swings through South Bend for a few home games. It's got to clear that. It hits a railing there. It's a home run. Moving Mark down, Lindsay is chasing a lifelong dream. There, all the way around. After graduating from Purdue two years ago, Lindsay decided to pursue a career as an umpire. I wasn't going to be able to make it as a player in the pros, so I figured, well, this is the next best option. A 2008 New Prairie graduate, he is now cutting his teeth in the minors. Michael, how are we doing? Good, good. Good, good to see you. Just like the players he's watching, night in, night out, one day hoping to get to the big leagues. You're chasing the dream. So he spent the past four months bouncing from town to town, honing his craft in the Midwest League. Yeah, you don't do it for the money. I'm going to say the IRS probably thinks I'm homeless. The job is thankless. Nobody's out here to watch us. It can be dangerous. And the travel is brutal. This week is the first time all season that the new Carlisle native has been back home. I think you kind of have to teach yourself to be okay with living in a hotel. That's definitely probably the hardest part about the whole thing, is anybody can stand on a baseball field that loves baseball. And many try, but few in Mark's profession ever reach that ultimate goal umpiring in the major leagues. It's very difficult to get into. There's 99% of us minor leaguers will never become major league baseball umpires. Um, eight to 10 years, probably, to be eligible to work major league baseball. And at that point, you got to get pretty lucky. Yes. Which begs the question he's been asked by friends and family hundreds of times. Why do it? I have this, this unexplainable like desire and love for baseball. I can sit on a baseball field, and I just think it's peaceful. I think it's relaxing. Um, I can't explain to somebody else that doesn't love baseball the way I love baseball. <laughs> and so this is his one week home this year. He had about 100 friends and family at the game last night. That'll probably be the same this year. Again, when we asked him, why do you do this? Because the chances mm -hmm. of getting to the big leagues are so small. He said, well, he had to follow his dream. And he does have a degree in secondary education from Purdue. So he says, if this doesn't work out, I'll be a teacher. That That's hard work. Back on. A lot of yeah. hard work and, and, and not glamorous. You know, people see mm -hmm. the umpires on TV and think, man, I'd love to watch baseball for a living. But like you said, 1% of those guys ever get wow. to that chance. It's like he's doing a good job so, so far. So far, yeah. yeah. Thanks, Pete.